So we've been talking about epi uh, nervous tissue. Sorry. We've been talking about epithelial tissue. Let's move to nervous tissue. So if you look at nervous tissue, um, it's the tissue that's found inside anything that has to do with nerves. So we're talking about things like the brain. We're talking about the things like the spinal cord and nerves. Um, and it's all about connection. So these are very, very specialized tissues. And they're specialized to produce electrical impulses. So that and so when we get to talking about how they function, we're going to see this a lot. And then they can take that electricity and uh, spread it down the surface of their membranes until they can connect with other cells. So when you look at it, like and remember we have a photomicrograph um, and here's our photomicrograph well when you different types of cells so we're going to see these really really big cells that have all these little things sticking off of them like this and we can see these little bitty cells in here like this and so there are going to be two different types of cells in nervous tissue Here's our photomicrograph, and then here is the description over here, and our little picture, the functions and location. So once again, everything you need to know about this tissue is right here in this box. But let's look at it. So if you look at it under a microscope, it's really easy to see these two different types of cells. So let's pick this one over here, and look, it has arm-like projection sticking off they stick off like this and you can see them sticking off and then they have this really big cell body that's where the cytoplasm is and then there's the nucleus and if you look at the nucleus of these cells they look like eyeballs and so there you can see another eyeball looking nucleus well these cells these really really big ones are called neurons and neurons are the ones that produce the electricity. They're the ones that are all about communication. But they're so specialized that they really can't do anything else. And so they have a whole bunch of these little bits, which are like helper cells. They're support cells. And they do all kinds of different things. These are called neuroglia. Sometimes just called glial cells, but glia means glue, and it's sort of the glue that holds everything together. So these cells are support cells. So we have neurons and we have neuroglia. So again, here's another picture. There's our neuron. And then here are our neuroglia or glial cells. There's a bunch of these. And if we look at this, we're going to see a lot more glial cells than we are going to see neurons. So it's a really easy tissue to identify because there's nothing else that looks like this. But that's a neuron. And then these, all these little bitty ones, are the neuroglia. And there's only one nervous tissue. So that also makes it really easy. Any questions about nervous tissue? Can everybody pick out the neurons? And pick out the neuroglia? Can everybody do that? Okay, and then the other tissue we're going to look at is muscle. So muscle is also a very, very specialized tissue, but it's specialized to do contraction. So muscle cells can contract. And what contraction means is that it can forcibly shorten. And so if you attach something to it, 
when it forcibly shortens, it'll pull on that other tissue. So muscle cells can pull. Well, there are actually three different types of muscle. There's skeletal, there's cardiac, and there's smooth. And they're found in very specific space, uh, places. So skeletal is called that because it's attached to bones. So any kind of muscle that's attached to bones, like these, and your arms, and your legs, and the face, and places like that, those are skeletal muscles, and skeletal muscle is voluntary. So this is how we get voluntary movement. We have cardiac muscle, and the only place cardiac muscle is found is in the heart. Well, we don't have any control of our heart voluntarily, so this is involuntary. So cardiac muscle involuntary no voluntary control and then smooth muscle is found in the walls of hollow organs so it's found in places like the stomach and the intestines and the uh, the bladder and the uterus and places like that it is also involuntary so three different types of muscle. And so we're going to look at these three types individually. So we're going to look at skeletal, and then we'll look at cardiac and smooth. So let's look at skeletal muscle first. So skeletal muscle, when you look at it, the cells are very long. In fact, if a muscle is this long, this is the muscle, every single muscle cell is also that same length. It's that long. So they're long muscle or cells. And they're also cylinder shaped. And the cylinder looks kind of like this. If you think about a can of Coke or something, that's a cylinder. But if you stretch that out, that's what they look like. Long cylinder shaped cells. A weird thing about skeletal muscle is it has lots of nuclei. So if you look here, you're going to see not one, not two, but hundreds of nuclei in this one cell. And the nuclei tend to be on the edges of the cell. Another thing about this muscle is it's striped. So if you look inside it, you're going to see dark areas and light areas dark areas and light areas, and the stripes go perpendicular to the length of the cell. So they go across the cell like this. Remember, they attach to bones. So if we look at it, here's our drawing right here, and you can see this cylinder shape. You can see these nuclei, that's purple things, and then you can see the stripes. So if you look over here, we see a bunch of them. So this is one cell right here. Let's just look at that one. And you can see all the nuclei. And then look at all these stripes. So remember, this is our box. So there's our photomicrograph. Here's our description and our diagram. And then here's location and function. So again, everything you need to know about this tissue is in this box. So if I look here, I see one, two, three, maybe four cells. But let's just pick this one and look at it. There's the cell right there. Now you can't see this whole cell because it's very, very long. So there's a lot of cell off the slide this way, and there's a lot of cell off the slide this way. We're only seeing a small section. But here are the nuclei. There's a nucleus, there's a nucleus, there's a nucleus. And then you can see these very, very obvious stripes. The word for striped is striated. So this is striated muscle. Again, this is voluntary. So it produces voluntary movements. So any kind of movements that you choose to do, hands, face, feet, legs, whatever, it's got to be skeletal muscle doing that. 
Here I can count one, two, three, four, I don't know, maybe five down here. But again, there's the cell right there. There's the cell. There's the nuclei. And there's the stripes, the striations. Now, if you see this on the PowerPoint, you, he's actually doing a lot, a lot of movements. And all those movements he's doing are with skeletal muscle. And because skeletal muscle, it's voluntary. Let's look at cardiac muscle. So cardiac muscle is only found in the heart. That's the only place you find it, in the walls of the heart. Well, when you look at it, it has some similarities to skeletal muscle because it's also striped. It has these striations. But that's the where the, the commonalities end because it's only got one nucleus. And they're not cylinder shaped. They're sort of split like this. They're branched cells. And they're not long. They're short. And so this is just one cell right here. And then they have these special connections between cells, which you can see on the slide. They look like dark, dark lines. And what they are, are folded up parts of the membrane. So if I were to blow this up, that part right there would look like this. And another cell right next to it would be doing this same thing, but interdigitating with this one. And because it's so folded up and so interdigitated, it looks dark. Well, what these are are places where the cells talk to each other. So this cell can talk to that cell. This cell can talk to this cell. It does it by allowing ions to move back and forth. This structure has a name. It's called an intercalated disc. Intercalated means these are hooked together. It's kind of like if you took your fingers on your own hand and you take your other hand and you do the same thing and you interlock your fingers together. That's what happens here and you get these intercalated disks. So when you look at it, here's our box. So here's our photomicrograph. There's our description, our diagram. You can see the little diagram here. You can see how they're divided or split. And then you see the little stripes, one nucleus. And then here's that intercalated disk right there. And then there's our function and location. If we come over here, the cells are a little, they're going at weird angles, and so they've been cut at weird angles. But you can see how this cell is divided. There's the nucleus. Here's the intercalated disc right here. And there's one, and there's one. And these are the only, this is the only tissue with intercalated discs. So if you see those, it has to be cardiac muscle. Remember, cardiac muscle is involuntary. So if we look at it here, this picture shows the intercalated, <coughs> sorry, intercalated disc very, very well. And, and even though it's hard to see, you can see the stripes in here. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you, Maria. So can everybody find the intercalated discs? Everybody see the stripes? So it's striated tissue. The stripes are not as obvious as they were with skeletal muscle, but they're there. There's that nucleus. There's the nucleus. So cardiac muscle. Okay, let's look at smooth muscle. 
Smooth muscle is called that because it's not striped. It's not striated. It's smooth looking. It doesn't have stripes. And then the cells are shaped different. The cells are shaped a little bit like canoes or a kayak. So if you think about a kayak, you know, a kayak is something you sit in like this and paddle around. It looks a little bad. It looks like this. It has tapered ends and it's thick in the middle and that's where the nucleus is. And there are no striations. Well, if you line up a bunch of canoes, you can't line them up next to each other perfectly because of the way they're shaped. And that's the same way it is for smooth muscle. And so the nuclei are not going to line up perfectly. And so if you cut it, some cells are going to look like they don't have a nucleus. Some cells are going to look like they have a really big nucleus. And some cells are going to look like they have a little one. So if you look at this over here, our diagram, you get a better idea of what that would be like. So if I were to cut it right there, look, that cell would be skinny and no nucleus. That would be a little thicker with no nucleus. And then that cell, you'd see a nucleus right in the middle of it. Now, if you cut them long ways, they look like this. I hate this picture. It's a lousy picture. But depending on which version and which edition of the lab book you have, this is the one that's in there. If you have a later one, they have a new picture that's much better. But here's a better picture. This is what they look like. Look, doesn't it look like a canoe or a kayak? That's what they look like to me. And remember, they're tapered on the ends, so they're skinny. And they're thick in the middle where the nucleus is. So if you put a bunch of them next to each other, they look like this. And so if I were to make a section across there, look, it would look different in each one of the cells. If I make a section this way, it's going to look like this. So usually we try to show you, or I try to show you, longitudinal sections and not cross sections but sometimes they're both going to be on the same slide. But here's what it looks like. If I blow it up a little bit, there you can see the tapered ends. So look at that one. You see these tapered ends there and fat in the middle. There's a tapered end right there and fat in the middle. Same thing here and so on. So. This is smooth muscle. And look, there's no stripes, no striations. Any questions about smooth muscle? So those are the three types of muscle. So skeletal, remember, looks like this. You find it in the skeletal muscles. Again, voluntary. And here's cardiac. Remember, there's our little intercalated discs. You only find it in the heart, and it's involuntary. And then here's smooth muscle, these tapered or canoe-shaped cells. And then they're found in the walls of hollow organs. Again, involuntary. Any questions? Okay, well, that's where we're going to stop for this morning. So if you come back at 1, we'll be looking at uh, the rest of the material that we uh, failed to cover yesterday for lab.